Well, hey folks, I snuck back out one last time to my favorite permission before my move. By the time you see this, I will be in the middle of my move, or at least that's, uh, that's my plan anyway. But I'm back out today um, one last time, I think, after, uh, after, last, after last week's episode, that just unbelievable hunt. Uh, if you haven't seen it, please go back and watch it. It certainly was uh, was a good day, but I thought I'd give it one more shot out here today uh, while I had the chance. The uh, sugar, cr sugar cane is uh, getting tall, so I'm stuck just right uh, right in the middle of the, the rows. Not going to damage any plants, of course. Been here for just a few minutes on my first row, working my way down um, in an area that I've covered the least amount I have gone over it but uh, you know I always miss stuff there's always stuff pop up that uh, you just don't get on the first trip through but I just popped a little button here got some poison ivy on my hand there you can see from last trip but look at this little button would have been a two-piece looks like but that's pretty cool nice little fancy design on it yeah, we'll take that to start things off. I have uh, I have low expectations compared to last hunt, but who knows? You, you just never never can predict what's going to pop up out of the ground. So we'll give it a shot today and see what we can come up with. All right, still in that first row. I got a utensil handle here. Looks like it would have been silver plated maybe. I have found a bunch, a bunch of these utensil handles in this field. Probably a dozen or more. Always like finding them though. Found a few sterling silver ones. Mostly brass. Silver wash. But that's a good relic. We'll take it. Yeah, it looks as though you're watching I Dig History. Nice clay marble. Guess that makes it an episode. Still in that first row. Just turned on my second row and heard a little, uh, little squeaker looks like that's gonna be a little button yeah look at that what's that on it flower maybe keep it in the camera Not sure. I mean, I think it's going to be a flower. I thought it was an eagle at first. I'll take a closer look at it. If it's anything other than a flower, if it's an eagle or something, I'll come back. But I, th I think that's going to be a little flower, one piece button. Cool find. Well, this was just kind of laying here on the surface. Kicked it out. Gonna be a piece to an old lantern. See the uh, flame adjuster there, the knob. Sometimes get a patent date off these little. I see some lettering on there. Um, I've found various pieces of these over the years. One almost complete one, smashed. Not in this field, but that's a uh, that's a good relic. Take that. Just popped a little uh, D with D buckle. Find a ton of these out in the fields. Probably uh, 
something related to horse tack, but you never know. They sure do ring up nice. That was a uh, nice crisp 24. So glad to snag that. We'll keep going. Pop something kind of interesting here. I've dug them before. And I kind of cleaned it up already. Uh, and they're they're cool because they've got the little eagle in them. You might recognize that. It's a uh, piece off of a saw handle. A hand saw. And it's made by Superior. Uh, they have different designs, but this one has the little eagle. And this would have held the wooden part of the saw handle together. Yeah, that's a cool little find. It's got the little eagle on it. Alright, let's keep rolling. Got a, uh, what looks to be a button on the surface. Let's try to stay out of the shadow. Got an interesting design on it. I haven't even touched it yet. I wonder what that's going to be. Hmm. Maybe just an old jeans button or something. I thought it was going to be a two piece. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's much. Alright, keep going. Alright, got something interesting here. You see it? That is going to be a watch winding key. Sometimes they're ornate. This one's plain. It's a cool early relic. Very small. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, well I saw that laying over there. You probably already can tell what it is. It's a buffalo nickel. Lay it on the surface. Oh wow. That one looks really good. Look at that. These things are always trash. Look at the detail on this thing. Wow. Let me clean this up a little bit. All right, well, look at that. It's got some really good detail on it. But unfortunately, right where the date is at, there's a little spot. It's messed up. But that is a very cool looking buffalo nickel. This side's kind of got some junk on it, but this side looks really good. I like that. That's the first coin of the day. All right. Let's keep that trend rolling. Well, I think I've found one of these in the last couple videos. You see it? It shadows. This one is actually intact and in shape which is rare this is a brass wedding band it's in pretty much the right shape just a little bit bent love finding these yeah Just have to wonder about the history. All right, well, I got something that was really deep. Um, and I'm just not sure what it is. I think it's kind of cool. Um, cleaned it up a little bit. It's either pewter or lead. And it's obviously broken. And it would have been an eagle claws down here in the wings and it says something LA I'm 
and I can't make it out. T R I C Y P A Pat. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. But it looks like a very cool piece. I don't know. I should I should be able to figure it out once I get home. But if you're watching this uh, and you automatically recognize it, please feel free to leave me a comment down there. Let me know. All right. All right, got something here. It's uh, always good to find. Recognize it? That is a toe tap. Or a toe plate. Kind of the same concept as a... Uh, Excuse me, the bugs. A boot heel plate, this would have been tapped into the toe as a way of uh, keeping it around a little bit longer, keeping it from wearing so fast. Yeah, could be Civil War. You know, they definitely use these in the Civil War, and this is, uh, this site does have Civil War activity, so you just never know. Got another surface find here, surprise, surprise. Uh, ring up like a nickel. Looks like the size of a nickel. Ooh, it's going to be a shield nickel. All right. Second coin of the day. Second variety of nickel for the day. Awesome. Yeah, you can see the five there. I may get a date off this one. Let me get a toothpick on it and I'll be right back. All right, well, I couldn't get a date. Maybe when I get home, look at it through my loop. But I will take a shield nickel any day. That's the age of the stuff I'm after, if not older. So let's, uh, let's see what else we can do right in this little area. Got another surface find here. And I think I found one of those in the last couple videos. I'm sure you can recognize that. It's going to be a brass thimble. Looks like it's got some writing at the bottom. Or a design, maybe. Need to get some new gloves, don't I? Yeah, I think it's got some letters down there. Wish it wasn't smashed. Love finding old thimbles. We'll get it cleaned up and see what it says in the wrap-up. Let's see what this one is together. You see it? Another utensil. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a fork. like a plain one. I think that's the... I know I've dug at least one already. I think I dug another one that I didn't get on film. Alright. More utensils. Alright, got something uh, round and green. Looks two-piece-ish. Right off the bat, I see something on it. I think that's going to be an eagle. Civil War. Eagle and shield. Yep. I think that's what that is. I do believe. Let me put a toothbrush on it. Clean it up a bit. See what it looks like. Be right back. Well, believe it or not, as you can see there, the shield has been busted in. It is an eagle and shield. That sun is so bright. Uh, just not going to be able to do much with it right now. I don't know if you can see that, maybe. Eagle there. The shield may be inside it. But definitely a Civil War two-piece coat button. Eagle and shield, and it would have had a letter in the shield, or uh, 
if it was just general service, it would just be the shield, but have like an I for infantry or A for artillery. I'll uh, probe around there in the hole, but I seriously doubt I'll find the shield. But I will take Civil War buttons all day long. I think I'll just keep going for a bit. Well, I haven't had the camera on much lately. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I've turned it on. I was thinking about making my way back to the truck. Um, been out here for a while, but I just popped that. That has a tombackish look to it. Yeah. For sure. I say for sure. It looks like it anyway. Don't see any kind of design. But I will take that early relic. I'll probably do one more row. Work my way back to the truck. We'll uh, we'll go from there. All right. Well, I am back home. It was a uh, a good day. Beautiful weather out there today. But uh, just glad to get out there one more time before I move. Like I said, by the time. Uh, by the time this episode is posted, I probably will be in Tennessee. So the next video, hopefully, will be some Tennessee hunting. We'll see. I've got already got a couple permissions lined up up there. So uh, looking forward to that. But let's do the wrap-up now. Uh, there's the, the work I put in. Of course, uh, just your standard tons of rivets. Hate those little things. A lot of old brass. I've already gone through it a couple times. Those are modern buckshot down in there. Different lead pieces. So yeah, good bit of work. I was out there probably for uh, six and a half, seven hours today. Um, just a lot of uh, different items on the board here. Nothing just crazy or, you know, um, no really old silver coins. Nope, no silver coins at all. Uh, but just a good good selection of finds. So let's let's run through it here. Of course, I got the uh, couple of utensil handles. See those? You can see my uh, poison ivy going away there. That was fun. A couple of uh, harmonica reeds. I always find those out in the fields. There's that lamp or lantern piece. Couldn't see a date on that. Sometimes you can get a patent date. Couple buckles couple of uh, suspender type clips. I think this is um, some type of uh, end of a key, one of those uh, triangle keys. It's, it's broken down here on this end. I think that's what that is. A piece of a lock. It says US on the front. I found some complete ones of those. Uh, a little piece of a razor. It's got some gold still on it, gold gilt. Some kind of little piece of a razor thing. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I thought it was going to be a pinfire shotgun shell, but it's not. I don't know about that. If you know, let me know. Uh, around the board, there's that saw handle. Um, holder, screw. I think there's a name for them. I can't remember. I found several of them. But you can see the little eagle on there. Superior was the brand. Uh, those are just cool to find. Got some taco money up top, some clad, uh, some, I was going to look those up. Uh, I'm not sure about those. I don't think they're, uh, they're not, they're not really modern. They're older. I'm not sure. Could be Civil War. I'll have to, I'll have to take a look. Uh, one little glass piece thing. Look at this. I don't know what that is. It's broke off, but I thought it was cool. It was laying on the surface, obviously. Uh, doll arm, five clay marbles. One of them had some uh, painting on it. You can see there some red that's faded. Uh, various little porcelain plastic buttons. A couple of, uh, I thought this was going to be a musket ball, and it might be, but it is huge. It's 
probably going to be like a 69 caliber if it is. I'm not sure. It's been hit by a plow several times. There's an old uh, kind of a homemade sinker, fishing weight. A couple net weights, marbles. One really cool purple marble. You don't usually see purple. Uh, what else? Two musket balls. Or at least I think this is a musket ball. I'm, a, I'm guessing that's the sprue still on it. I've never found one with a sprue that big, though, so I'm not real sure about that. That that may be something else. I don't know, maybe maybe some of y'all have seen some sprues that big. What else here? Oh, a lead uh, bag weight. Um, has something here. Look like Henry up here, maybe? Not, it doesn't look Henry now. I couldn't read it. Um, I probably could if I used my uh, my loop. But yeah, bag seal. A uh, couple of uh, what might be Civil War type pieces here. Got the uh, the tow heel plate. Showed you that. And then I don't think this was on video, but I think this is a piece of a spur. So this would have been the uh, the arms. Oh, we go. The arms would have uh, wrapped around off of these pieces, and then this is where the uh, the rowel would have been on the back, like that. I think that's what that is. So that could be Civil War. I have found complete spur, almost complete spurs in this field. Uh, the little fancy button, that one's cool. The tom back, that's an old button. Always love finding tom back. The uh, one little cuff size, and it's got a little flower on it. Probably put some lemon juice on there because I see some gold gilt still still left on it. Shank intact. Got the thimble. On this side, it says presser. P R E S S E R. Brass thimble. Got the uh, brass wedding band. The watch winding key, uh, two nickels, got the buffalo nickel, and the bust has really good detail, just couldn't get a date off of it. This side's got some issues, but really like that side, and then the shield nickel, could not get a date off of this one either. The, the dates on shield nickels are tiny to begin with. That's not going to focus. Um, but yeah, oldest coin of the day. And then uh, when I dug the Civil War button, you know, the shield was missing. And I said, well, maybe it's inside the, the button itself. And guess what? It was. And it is an eye. So it's a Eagle Eye Infantry. If that's going to focus. It's too small. Um, I'll probably stick it back inside it and put it in a little display case or something. Uh, but there's the, uh, Eagle two-piece Civil War button. Shieldless, but the shield is, uh, was inside, so that was very cool. And then the mystery item for the day, I think it's a cool piece. Is this uh, lead pewter piece? I don't know. I I, uh, I did a, I did a search on it and and a fast search. I'll I'll do more in depth research on it later, but couldn't find anything on it. I think it says Patrick, L.A. So Patrick, Louisiana. Could could say something before it over here that looks like a three here. There's a date right here. It looks to be 1812 or 1819. Uh, and it's obviously got an eagle up here and couldn't make out the letters through here. So that's the mystery item. Um, if you have any idea, you can let me know. Would would love to uh, see a complete one to see what it looks like. But I'll do, I'll do more research on it later. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it. That's probably going to be my last Louisiana hunt. At least, uh, probably for sure, my last one in that field. Maybe I'll sneak out one more time to a closer location. But uh, always enjoy you guys following along and interacting and, and 
commenting on things, so please continue to do that. Um, I'm over on Instagram. It may, it may be a minute before I post a new video. Hopefully it won't be a big gap, uh, but I'm over on Instagram if you want to jump over there and, and see what I'm doing over there. It's I underscore dig underscore history. Of course, if you think it rates it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Appreciate all that as well. So I think that'll do it. I uh, guess uh, next time, next time, next video, you'll see me in Tennessee. So we'll see you then. Take care. All right, just for those of you who stuck around to the very end, here is what I'll call a little bonus dig. I might throw a couple of these on there. We'll see. Uh, just popped that. Looks silver to me. What do you think? Definitely silver. What's the variety? Let's see if I can just pop that off. No. Let's uh let's put a little spray on it. This little bonus dig. Let's see. Can you see that? Be something crazy. Well, let's hold. What is it? It's beat up. Gonna be a half real? Got a hole in the middle? What is this? Wow. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Let me get two hands on it and see what I can see and I will be right back well I do not have an ID on it I think it has been intentionally hammered and uh, sort of pounded out the details I think it's a half real just based on the size it's not reeded around the edges it's hold. It could have been some type of uh, what they call a love token. Pounded out and some kind of design was on it. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'll take a closer look. Um, but yeah. How about that for a little bonus find?